This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And uh, we're, I am literally right back. I was in LA this morning, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> thanks to a uh, surprise layover uh, that I had trying to get back from my week with Baja SAE, a very wet desert adventure. Now I know what happens to in the desert when it gets wet. It's just a mud pit. Just a giant mud pit. It was crazy. Anyways, that's not what this show is about. We have another podcast for that somewhere. Uh, but anyways, with us, first of all, from uh, Big Bank International Esquire, he is John Chichilla. That's me. How that's are you? you? Hey, welcome back. Welcome to the show. Hey, and welcome good back. To be back. I didn't get to be on last. You week. didn't because uh, we, we were. You had early. You had early show. We had early. You still had to work at Big Bank International, yeah, was, the yeah. deploying devices and such. Those whole those, that whole working hours that whole thing. working hours thing. <laughs> we got Kraus down there. Kraus just sneaks out. We we're like in your Shh, backyard. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him the no, big he, he comes in at like the crack of dawn it's still dark out when oh he yeah gets there. that's why he gets to leave early he yeah. is yeah he's got he's got some incredible work ethic yes uh but no it was great we we did the uh show last week at the business uh the pittsburgh business show uh thank you jack off for uh, getting us connected with that and i know our friends at bold pittsburgh and bold sports uh were there as well and you jack off podcast of course um and uh yeah, you go check that out and, and let's know you, you kind of like the live show like it's a little different vibe and everything and you know maybe we can get a little bit audience uh wherever we might go uh but if there's other opportunities where you think awesome cash should be in person please let us know and uh we, we will let you know the contact here in a moment but with us also our special guest in the studio joining us i think the first this is the first time i believe on the show we have interviewed on you before. this show yeah, yeah professor yeah. buzzkill is with us Same Hist- law. historian podcaster buster of myths buster of myths taker of names taker of <laughs> names especially that churchill names. fellow that's why i get big that's why i get the big money the big podcast <laughs> money yes uh thank you for joining us. so you're, you're going to be sharing a little bit of tech history with us later in the show oh yeah oh, so because it's kind of what you do yeah uh what, what is the 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 kind of uh, uh two-liner on uh, on your podcast for the people that have not been introduced to you well, busting myths and taking names is the first thing we do. That's a good one. I think we try to. Are we changing the top of the website to that? No, it, is, it does say that. Doesn't <laughs> oh, it does say that. Does it say that? <laughs> it <laughs> should. It does now. Turns to the webmaster. It's on the family crest. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, we, we try to clear up misconceptions and myths about history, and especially ones that are important. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and especially ones that we think will affect the way people decide to vote. For instance, they have something completely wrong. And we interview as many historians as we can. Uh, we try to do try to break it up a little bit. We have Man Crush Mondays, Woman Crush Wednesdays, regular full episodes, quote or no quote. That's your favorite show, Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, quote or no quote. Mm-hmm. Where we tell nice you nice and short. Nobody said what you think they said. Mm-hmm. Nobody said half of the things you think they said. In fact, our, our most recent episode is a Churchill quote or no quote. So there you go, and you can see all of this always at professorbuzzkill.com. There you go. So you're looking at the website, Mike. Does it actually say busting, missing, taking names? <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing it on here. Not at the top of the page. I think it might be because people who are not American don't know what busting, missing, taking, what taking names means. That, that could not translate, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, it's, it's, in, it's in Latin on the, on, the, on the family crest, but I don't know if uh, anyone else would understand it. Mm. But uh, glad to have you here on thank the you, show. You, we're going to be having a lot of fun. And also, we're bringing you on the wrestling show to do some stuff with that, too. Yes. Here, uh, we're recording tonight over at Wrestling Mayhem Show. If you guys want to check that out, if you're uh, checking this out later, uh, our sister, sister podcast over there on the Sorgatron Media Network. Anyways, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check us out at awesomecast.com where you can subscribe to us uh, and find links to subscribe to us over there and find out information, show notes, and back episodes. Uh, please subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on Facebook and YouTube. 
YouTube. Uh, and also, please hit us up. Email us at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com, uh, where uh, you can chat with producer Missy if you want to be in studio uh, to see this uh, happen in person, or if you have any interest in some of the advertising opportunities we have or partnerships or whatnot with the Awesome Cast. You can also tweet us at Awesome Cast, and of course, please follow the Awesome Class Facebook page and group. Uh, the group is where we have a lot of great conversations happening, and uh, people submit a lot of shows. I'm sorry, a lot of stories that we do uh, talk about on the show. Uh, also, please give a shout out to our friends at uh, RiversEdgePGH.com, where they're they Saturdays at 9 a.m. as well as the 405Media.com weekdays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, noon Eastern Time. And of course, we are live every Tuesday on Facebook at the Awesome Cast Facebook page at 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday. Um, thank you to our Patreon supporters. Uh, our friends at the Coffee Club $5 levels. We've been doing a lot more exclu- exclusive discussions. Uh, two weeks ago, we had um, Charlie Deach on, and he was talking a lot about um, the Pittsburgh Current as a digital agency and and uh, kind of uh, even their insight into looking into Apple News and how it applies to a paper their size and, and how they're using media and social media um, uh as a paper, as a, a dead tree paper. So a really good discussion and that's exclusive to our Coffee Club $5 members, such as Matt Weller, John Diggy DeGore, and John Carmen. And also thanks to our longest runner, patri- longest running Patreon supporter, our fan of the show, Mike Fedor out there. And uh, thanks for thanks for saying thanks for uh, welcoming me back to Pittsburgh when I uh, uh, put my tweet out earlier today, Michael. Uh, and of course, you can support the show at patreon.com slash awesome cast. So, uh, Chilla, this is kind of a precursor to our ad, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> we, so Chilla went along with me uh, to Slice on Broadway to pick up our sponsor pizza. We talked the professor into the good professor into having some. I know he was like trying to refrain for his yes. own well being. Yes, trying and then failing <laughs> and failing because it's that good. It another one another it's a myth another that the professor can control himself. Absolutely, but Chilla, you were playing with uh, one of your uh, new toys here uh, when we were going for our run. Yeah, the the Pixel Three A, <clears throat> and I don't know if Krauss has shown this on the show. And I don't know, those pictures, you can make them a lot larger. I was just trying to save space in the dock. But the Pixel 3a, I will say for a device, and I'll toss it. I won't toss it over to you, um, but I will hand it. It is super light, mm-hmm. and it's about this uh, about the same size as an iPhone 10. Um, there is a bezel on the top and bottom. There's no There's no notch. But here, if you take a hold of that... Um, <clears throat> it's pretty darn light, um, which impressed me with the device. Um, it's been running all day, and I think it's still at seventy percent. I haven't done. And that's comparison to an iPhone eight plus in a case, by the way, for you guys on the visual right now. Yeah, that so, is one thing I got to do for that is get it a case. I always, I always, I'm always put off a little bit by the the longness mm-hmm. of these newer Android phones. Like it's a super wide screen. I'm, I'm sure that's kind of a little funky. You know, having watched a lot of video on the plane back today, um, you know, can't beat the iPhone screens. But it seems a little weird and long. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I, 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 like I need to throw it. up. I need to throw some movies in there because I. It's light. I, <clears throat> it's really I use, light. Yeah, it's really light. Wow. I feel like I'm going to launch it into the air. <laughs> um, I, I was. I'm pretty impressed with the camera, and for being their low, low end, mm-hmm. non thousand dollar. I think it's four hundred dollars for the three A. Um, and you get a hundred dollars off right now, um, in Google credit. Um, the camera has the night sight feature. It has the playgrounds where you can get all the AI stickers. So their, their stickers aren't just stickers, right? They, they, uh, you can click and drag the corner of the photo too, if you want to. Yeah, them. but it gets kind of weird. It in gets kind of weird in the dock. So, uh, but anyways, you were, you were the, um, they're AR stickers. You can tap on them. You can they can move around. the The stormtroopers can <laughs> patrol. So these guys, we just have steel images in here. But you have a stormtrooper hanging out uh, here in front of the studio. Uh, you put Iron Man in front of our friends at Slice on Broadway when we were grabbing pizza earlier. Whoop! I don't know. Where oh, I went. you just deleted all my. Pictures. No, no, no. I just, I just, we we did a weird page up thing. Uh, here oh, is Iron Man great. hanging out at the. Uh, Hanging out in the uh, uh, is it Steel Plaza, it looks like. Yeah, that's the, down at the T station. And the interesting thing is that if you if you look at the Iron Man mm-hmm. flying 
kind of hovering above oh, midair. You see a shadow. You see a shadow, and go back to the one in front of the stormtrooper in front of Sorgatron. Media. You see a shadow. You there see too. a shadow, and it, it's matched to the ground. I mean, they, they're doing a pretty good job. Well, also, I wonder if they're doing light sourcing because I mean, just that time of day, that's where the sun would be going. Mm-hmm. I believe. So that that's really cool. So and again, this is one of those things that's kind of what exclusive to. It's exclusive to the Pixel Camera. Okay. App. Okay. So if you do a little Googling mm-hmm. and you have a Samsung device, there have been definitely ports. Mm-hmm. But you're looking at about 400 meg for the camera app and an additional 600 meg for the the stickers, and you got to keep updating it because obviously you're not going to get the Google update on a different device. Right. Um, so that is one of the pieces that are that. So that between the night site and the the AR and emojis and, and such. Um, I love the, the, the animal ones, the dog and cat ones that they have going on here. Yeah, there's, and, there's, and there's tons of arrows. packs that you can download. Wow. There's, these all look really cool and they're very 3d. Um, you know, there's kind of a, a character, uh, flexible limbed, uh, athletic, uh, characters they have going on there. There's a little video there of Iron Man dropping in, uh, or just hanging out with you, apparently. If you yep. need an Iron Iron Man friend, that's kind of the way to go, huh? Yeah. So can, I, can I ask you guys <clears throat> something? Those shadows and things like that, are that feature is new to this device or this software? I don't know so if it's so new, <clears throat> but it's definitely perfected. Because you know, the, the, some of the stuff you're just showing there now, mm-hmm. um, there is no shadow, but you can put it in there, is what you're saying, post-production. Or no, no, no. It puts it photo. No, it puts it's it in there for yeah. you. Yeah. Holy See, like when cow. Iron look when Iron Man comes down to the ground here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's like no he lands. Shadow. The, the, no, the shadows underneath them. It's just oh, real okay. quick. But um, it's I'm pretty impressed. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, with, I see. I see it. Yeah. With with the camera, um, I mean, all the other apps, right, are primarily your whatever you can get out of the Android store. You can get out of the Android <laughs> it's store. It's really appropriate because we didn't mention if you guys are on video. Yeah, we have a great um, Avengers menagerie background behind Chilla as he's talking about this Iron Man feature. Uh, thanks to my brother who who got me this really awesome giant display of <laughs> Avengers that we don't know what to do with it uh, from Walmart. <laughs> so. if, if you need a place to store it, you just <laughs> let me know. Oh, Missy has some plans. We might oh, have I a, know a place to store it. <laughs> Buzzkill Bunker needs it. Desperate. There you go. There you go. Um, we all, also have, as you walk up today, there's an Iron Man in the window. Uh, is so, that part of that as well? That is part of that, I believe. I, yeah, I figured. So, he's not in and there's the a giant like Avengers Endgame uh, marquee as well. So uh, we are. I love. I love the contributions to help us. You know, geek defy. You know, my brother also got me that C three PO over there with the uh, gangster chain. Um, <laughs> the gangster chain did not come with C three PO, but again, like like you know, part of a display or something. But really cool things. We get the geek up uh, things in here. So well, uh, I think you can you can help the buzzkill blood pressure by letting me take those to my buzzlings because they love that stuff and it will pay you back for forcing the pizza on me there you go missy held me down that's what producer missy does yes it was very unfair <laughs> unfair like what's his name that guy who's president you know it's it very unfair oh boy it's the trying not to become another show oh yeah uh, sorry sorry anyways hey i got to you know i don't i can't remember if i made it to one of these i would talk about them a lot and i've always wanted to get to one and i ended up actually working with uh, my new friends over here corp um over in carrick uh, a, a live stream for the hardware cup so i got to experience the hardcore hardware cup this is the um this is of course the um alpha lab gear um competition uh where you know gear meaning it's going to be hardware it's going to be you know physical things right um but uh we we mentioned briefly uh, several weeks ago about uh some of the companies out there and again this is something that they had uh pitch competitions around the world and we're talking in Africa, all across the country, Boston, um, I believe San Diego or L.A. Um, they have a whole list of them here. Um, let's see. Uh, countries participating across the globe, including South Korea, Hong Kong, Washington, D.C., San Jose, uh, Chicago, Boulder, Colorado, Atlanta. So uh, definitely representing a really good subset here. And this is stuff that, you know, we were chill. We were talking before. And like this is some stuff that is like already in Best Buy. You know, you know, wow. already in Bed Bath and Beyond, and, and getting a foothold and trying to get to that next level, huh. right? Um, but again, what is the, what is the level after you've made it to Best Buy and, and Bed Bath and Beyond? It's expansion beyond that. Well, probably Walmart. 
What? To be honest. <laughs> so it's already in Tarjay is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably, right? Yeah. So, but, you know, they've had like that first deal. These are like, you know, maybe not quite like, you know, the company that walks in the shark tank at okay. this point. I believe the first price was about $50,000. <laughs> um, but uh, what? <laughs> the shark. Like, I'm going to walk in the shark tank to jump the shark. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a companies that could pop up on a show like yeah, that, true, too, true, to be true. honest. Uh, but always, there's always that point of getting over the hurdle, the next hurdle of expansion for a company. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Um, but there was a, a couple really uh, cool ones. Uh, Chilla, we were kind of going over them uh, uh, earlier. Uh, we mentioned briefly uh, Yodel at Labs when they announced the companies before. Um, and there was a bunch of them. And unfortunately, the video's not up. Um, they, they didn't leave the post up. But, uh, but uh, it was a really cool to see there was a, there was like a bionic arm that you know you could train you know based on you know it, it, each person had to train it to say mm. okay i want to make the finger do this i make this motion a grabbing motion based on your thoughts and you know maybe uh, you know muscles and, and stuff in your arm um and how that translated into it it looked really like it looked really good and yeah, the uh, things that have happened in the last five years that can help be Differently able community are just amazing. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Absolutely. But the first place was the fifty thousand dollars, and of course there was other networking, and there's a lot of, and like I said there was a lot of happening there, a lot of other, um, <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of other things going on there. Uh, but uh, Yodel Labs was the uh, uh, number one uh, uh, pitch of this competition, and I thought it was really cool. Um, uh, Chill. I know you were looking at the video with me a little bit. This is kind of a, you know. I said that this kind of reminded me of uh, Apple's iBeacons. It's a hardware situation where, uh, and they're showing a, a grocery store in, in this case, where you see the beacons are up in the ceiling. And what it's doing is it's creating an AR situation in the store. So you're in there and you're saying, you know, hey, I want to pull up, um, you know, I want to see, you know, get a, a, a can of beets or something. I forget what the thing is that he actually looks for. Uh, you know, it pulls up everything that's in the store and it will actually then start to pull up an arrow and guide you through the store in AR on your phone to wherever you need to be. And it's a pretty big store, so it'll pop ahead here. And then when you get there, those, there's what you've recommended, and then they'll, they'll show the area, the general area on the shelf, where that item is going to be. And then you have it in your basket. So pretty cool thing, although I felt like this has been promised before. And I'm curious about the implementation, right, Chilla? Yes. Yeah, so the question I would have is, what's the investment to put these beacons per square foot in your right, store? Right, right. Um, it would be interesting. I want, I could see this more useful in maybe in Home Depot. Right, right. But, but I don't know. Have you ever used the Home Depot app? No. So I've bounced between Home Depots, and they're different. Really? Like, the interior layout of the stores are different. Well, Walmart's are getting pretty crazy lately. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing is if you can find it in their app, mm -hmm. it knows what store you're in based on um, GPS. And it tells you approximately where you are in the store and where that item oh, is. Oh, it now, doesn't, it doesn't give you the AR view guiding you throughout no. the store, but it does give you a concept of, Hey, I'm here, and I'm in aisle three, and this is over in aisle twenty one A. I've seen this in in Target and uh, Walmart, and I think Walmart does this. I think Walmart has well marked their aisles, uh, maybe more so than Target. But uh, it pulls up the map and says this item should be in this aisle mm -hmm. over here. You know, relative. It gives and you a relative area, and that it's in stock. And I will do that. I've been on. I've been on the job in East End saying i need x cord to to set up like something like you know something was wrong or something was different and we needed like an av cord of some sort right mm -hmm. and i was like does well, target's two blocks away does it have it instead of wasting my time to run over there and hope to god they have it you say okay is this thing here okay it's there okay it's in stock okay it's in this aisle i'm not even wasting time going to the store okay where's the electronic section where what yeah i know it's yeah, right yeah, here yeah. on this end of the electronic section and you waste no, like so little time doing it so um i and this is, says this minimal investment on the website and everything too um real quick i want to touch on uh the other winners of this uh, second place went to Vital Flow. This was a device that um, is, you know, they're saying that they're they're giving insights uh, needed most before an asthma attack. 
and, and controlling asthma and, and trying to kind of, you know, instead of you have an attack, you take the inhaler, you know, uh, in, in that situation. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, just the more informational thing kind of along with, you know, all this kind of tracking that we're having with vitals and everything. Uh, there was another great one that was um, actually tracking um, uh, babies. Um Oh yes, as yes, well. I've seen, yeah, I've so seen, that you know, helping with the vitals for that to help you know circumvent any issues uh, for newborns. Um, another one was Algenair. This one is uh, uh, making helping you uh, uh, grow algae in your home to have better air quality in your home. Um, they have these pods. It kind of looks like I kind of in my head kind of joked that it looks like my lava lamp from Spencer Gifts back in the 90s. Uh, but uh, it is, you know, it's like kind of this algae incubator and then that will dissipate and, and again, clean the air and everything, too. Um, also very relatable. Uh, there was and we talked about this before. There was also kind of a, quote, Keurig of, um, of plant planting gardening. This little pod thing. You put a pod, you make herbs and. You know, and I think you said you already saw it in Bed Bath and Beyond. I saw that one in Bed Bath and Beyond, mm-hmm. and I—it's <clears throat> interesting because they—they'll do like you can buy the pods like a Keurig cup where the mm-hmm. seeds and everything are already in there, and you can start growing them. Or I think they have like pre-made pods with the soil and the dirt, and you add your own yeah. seeds. I yeah. thought this would be nice for like and even this algae spring time when you want to get your seeds started, and it's still right too cold out. Mm-hmm. But and even this al- this algae yeah. air, like uh, I think you get them in these. It looks like they look like big tablets like you're taking your medicine right <laughs> that, that you put in here and, and it starts growing the algae um, it's like one of those did you ever see those capsules when you were a kid that had like the sponge animal in it and you threw them in the a bathtub? little bit yeah <laughs> yeah uh and then finally another one this is the this was the international prize uh this is called equals and this is for self-canning it, it seals the can for you i think our uh brewing community will be very interested in this mm. yeah, it's uh, not like your can and pickles no 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 uh, it's but, like your can and beer, and I believe they, they like you have to get the cans from them. Um, <coughs> kind of specially made uh, to do your own canning, you know. But if you have like a product that you're starting up, it's a startup that helps startups. Chill. It could be like spaceball. You spaceballs. You just want to keep the oxygen in there for when you need it for later. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What six you, packs of oxygen? What's in your shed out back? Oh, I'm just canning o- up oxygen for the apocalypse. Well, and it looks a lot better. I mean, as you were saying, yeah. you know, canning really used to mean jarring. Jarring mm-hmm. pickles, mm-hmm. Don't can. and that, the cans themselves actually look better than mason jar versions. Absolutely. Oh, you're not sponsored by mason jars, are you? No. <laughs> offending them. That might be a possibility. Maybe okay, we should look yeah, into that for your show. Them. Don't offend them. Okay. Man, a tomato. Yeah. Canning tomatoes. I remember that. You remember that? I remember. Wow. I remember. I remember Grandma canning tomatoes. Actually, yeah, we did too. You remember Grandma doing it? That's yeah. the difference. No, 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 no. We did too. We had our own fruit cellar in the back. <laughs> wow. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm. I'm I, I think my dad was kind of a borderline survivalist, uh, but uh, he was starting to. <laughs> he was starting to uh, live more and more off the grid towards the end there. So you know. Well, if he's a borderline survivalist, it obviously worked because you're still here. <laughs> I guess so. Um, but anyways, hey, but. Professor Buzzkill, do you have an awesome thing of the week you'd like I, to share with us? I do, and it's probably been around for a little while. That's fine. Probably not for just this week, but it was a new-to-me thing this week. And if if those of you who have an iPhone can fit, uh, might know this already, but if you take your iPhone, you see your iPhone's in color, obviously. Mm-hmm. But if you double, if you triple-click on the, what I guess is the home button, right, quickly... You know, you double click to move between apps, you double click to close things. If you triple click, one, two, three, it suddenly becomes, wait for it, black and white. Oh. Now, oh, now see, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed because you, you didn't know this. Well, I have, so my wife, we have hers, we had hers set up to triple click because I think you can turn it Yes, you do, can, that's right. You can do triple click hers, for other hers, things. Hers, we set it up so it turned on the camera as a magnifying glass with the light. So if you're in a restaurant oh, and you need to read yeah. the menu so this oh. is this is all the accessibility options i believe right, right right yeah well and i found now maybe this is just in my buzzkill psychology in my buzzkill brain that turning it to black and white makes it easier to sleep at night why because not only is my brain not adjusting to the color and all those extra you know, mm-hmm. spectrum things you're getting and keeping you awake mm-hmm. in the half an hour leading up to bedtime it's not keeping my brain awake and so I try to, as long as I can during the day, have it on black and white. 
And of course, my hipster friends think it's really cool because it looks nice and retro and everything else. <laughs> Look at so, you. That, that's like, I know. Of course, the history professor should have a black and yeah. white phone. So this is so this is so old school in terms of not only tech but but what people are using that it's probably new. So that's my awesome thing for the week. And I've learned a, a, a number of things like this during the week, during the month. My Apple Watch has similar things that I didn't know you could adjust. Uh, you know, you think you have to you have to force yourself to live the way the device is set up for you to live, but actually you can set the device up in, in a lots lots of different ways. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, so so there you go. Black and white is my my awesome thing for the week. I see, and it helps to sway. It, I think isn't it? Is it that one? Dude, like there's there's something to make it automatically deter. Like it would go black and white to make it automatically deter you. I think it was part of the screen time. I think feature, it was part of screen time, right? Yeah. Additionally, so to tell you, right, 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 mm-hmm. right. Yeah. And you're right. That's... Oh, and I was all, I also learned the bedtime function, which was a a new <laughs> thing which I really like as well. But that's another story. I'll wait uh, that for next time you have me on the show, and I'll pretend that's fantastic. brand new to me. Fantastic. Well, hey, guys. I uh, want to give a shout. Of course, you know, we do a lot of podcasting here. We also do some podcasting for other people and might be helping Professor Buskill with a couple of items mm. in and around podcasting as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as you shouted to your webmaster, I think, at the beginning of the show. Yes, my <laughs> webmaster is, of course, Missy, the greatest webmaster in creation at ProfessorBuzzkill.com. And we have not only... The best thing about Missy is, of course, herself and her personality. The second best thing about Missy is the fact that she takes what I had sort of made as a website mm-hmm. and turns it into something real, for goodness sake. <laughs> Not only does it look a thousand times better, it's cleaner, it's faster, it's stronger, it's you know, it's, it belongs in the Marvel Universe. It is more effective for the... Uh, and we have stats to prove this. It's more effective for the viewer and more effective to promoting the podcast. So the the people get on, they get they get to the shows they want to hear faster. They get they get a much more aesthetically pleasing version, and of course the money rolls in. Well, that's happened a lot. We work with a lot of people at Psychic Media Services here. Yes, uh, our services division of Sorgatron Media. Psychic Media Services yes. is the greatest thing since. I can't think of anything. It's better than sliced bread. It's better than the Telegraph. It's uh, better is it, than is an it awful lot. Of better things. than black and white on your iPhone. It's better than black and white on my iPhone. iPhone. <laughs> They're smarter than I am. They're funnier than I am. I steal all kinds of ideas from them daily. So, if yes. you if you have any brain at all, you will go to Sidekick Media and use the and 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 see if. Uh, they can take you on as a client. Because I might, I might just skip my copy at this point. You're doing this for me, man. No, 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 honestly, no, no, no. It is it true? And, and it, as all of you know, especially you know, given my name, Professor Buzzkill, for God's sake, I'm a negative and cynical person. The <laughs> my, the way the ways my stress level have dropped through the floor, mm-hmm. and Missy can tell you this because I, I walk in here like a, a, a stress monster. And I leave like a bowl of jello. Is just astounding. <laughs> It, it, I, you know, talk about black and white on your iPhone. That helps me sleep better. But uh, Sidekick Media makes me sleep better. Fantastic. Well, that's that's a testimonial. And how how is that? Was that all right, right? <laughs> you got the envelope with the money in it yet? <laughs> there you go. Well, guys, again, we're helping a lot of people out. We're your but sidekick. True. We're a sidekick to your superhero project. We're still waiting for that picture of Buzzkill with the cape. But if you <laughs> want to help with your next big thing, we can help you out over at SidekickMediaServices.com, whether it be web, podcasting, recording, video production, sporting events, music videos. We just released a music video. Our friend Nick Iben has a new video over on his YouTube channel, uh, uh, Come Dance With Me. Uh, that we had a lot of fun with on the green screen. Uh, a lot of lot of hip a lot of hip gyration going on there. I, when I was, when I was talking about when we're setting up the video, he said a lot of inspiration from uh, 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 Elvis and Prince going into it. Mm. So the two ends of the music pop music chronology. But but still, with the the dancing though, the dancing yes, like they they yeah, both had yeah, that yeah, presence, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, go check that out, uh, Nick Ivan, and of course, if you need help with anything, go check out psychicmediaservices.com. Well, Professor, uh, we have uh, we had you on because we've been talking about you know we're, we're, you're you're a professor of all things history and uh, and there's a lot of tech history out there as well. Yeah, yeah, I, and I think I was listening to um, you talk about these new things, and, and as I was watching, I was thinking, well, there's a 19th century version of that, but of course, it's like the the, the AR shopping, right? That's uh, auto, uh, automated reality. What does AR stand for? 
Augmented reality. Augmented reality. Okay. Yes. Well, you know, before the telegraph, people had to go shop on their own. But then after the telegraph came, people with enough means could not they, they either had to send their messenger boy. But after the telegraph came, they could telegraph the store, right? Or tell the, their servants to telegraph the store. And I want these tomatoes from this store and I want these tomatoes from that store. And it got much better, so it got more efficient for those people, obviously. Mm-hmm. And the, the thing that seems different to me is that you can now decide on the fly. You, you're, you're, not, you're going to Whole Foods or you're going to whatever grocery store you go to, and you're looking at the stuff. You're not just looking at their stock picture of what they have. Or the, or the Sears catalog. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in many ways, it's, it's just... It's, it's increasing this level of, even though it sounds further away, like you're more distant from what you're doing, I think it's actually bringing you a lot closer to what you're doing because you're not having to rely on stale information, either what the, either what the stock boy tells you or what the telegraph tells you or whatever. You're seeing, that, you know, that I want my vegetarian sausages and I want those that are on the bottom, not those that are on the, over there. Mm-hmm. And I think it, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference in social consciousness. So that's kind of that's kind of when you look at something like that, you know, speed. You know, uh, a yeah. hundred years ago, people didn't do quite as much as we do today because it took so much longer to walk to town to go to the grocery store to do this, right? Either to get water or, or, or you know, I was watching something from a uh, uh, Highwayman on Netflix from like 1934, mm-hmm. and I was thinking about the things they didn't mm-hmm. have when they're like, you know, they're doing this chase. You know, look for Bonnie and Clyde. Hey, I haven't finished yet. Don't no spoiler alerts. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know, the you know, they don't have like they're like go check the file, and he's checking the stack of papers in the back of the car. You know, right, exactly, <laughs> you know, there's exactly, no exactly. access whatsoever. You know, you and can I'm, search like a PDF. Just yeah, there's no F and. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like, go see if he has any family in Oklahoma, you know, was one thing. It's just like, you know, it, it would happen, to, boom, boom, I think he has some, you know, here on the phone. Right. You know, For, for nine ninety five, I can find out very quickly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No pop-up ads or anything. And but, even but like think of how much faster it jumped once mm-hmm. the telegraph came out, because you could send information. The information may be not as fresh as the information we have now, but it, it, compared to what it was, it, telegraph sort of is invented in the 1850s. Compared to what it was in the 1830s, that's that's amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, the original, the original, well, we originally get the word online. Being online comes from the telegraph because you could actually talk to people back and forth. So, and just it's the quality of the information gets better, and the speed of the information gets better. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, and, and that's been you know exponential, right, over the last absolutely, few years. Absolutely, after the last, I say, well, I say the 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 the, the silicone chip, yeah, is what yeah. kind of light speeded things. Uh, in the in the you know seventies and eighties, uh, I've been watching uh, halt, caught up on Halt and Catch Fire, that mm-hmm. goes through the eighties, you know, and <laughs> it's, right. you know it goes through the like making an IBM clone, and it's on. You're you're watching this in in this uh, fictionalized, you know, uh, uh, the eighties computer boom, and and then uh, later the internet boom of the nineties, uh-huh. right. And even like online gaming and chat rooms of the late eighties, I believe. Right. Yeah. yeah and yeah. and but on they're on the side of all these historical things. They're like, well, you know, Google just ate our lunch, you know, or something. Exactly. You know, exactly. or or Yahoo or what's a Yahoo, you know. Yeah. And, and but it, it's fun to see like this is all they had to do to accomplish that in the eighties versus you know the nineties and now. Mm. So and now it's all like in our pocket. Mm. So. Yeah, and it's it, it, like I say, it's not only that. The information is flowing faster, but the information is is better and it's fresher. Mm-hmm. And then particularly important for grocery shopping. I and mean, what after that, all, what does that do for decision making? Well, that's a very good question. It's a very good question, and and, and and in sort of political circles, people start to wonder whether are we jumping are we jumping to decisions, jumping to conclusions too fast now. In the old days, when somebody did something in a foreign country that you didn't like, mm-hmm. you still had to wait for the information to get to you. Then you found out about it. Well, by that time in the place that it had happened, things had either calmed down or they gotten worse. So there wasn't as much potential to, of a, you know, ru- ru- a reign of ruin or whatever that phrase was that you know who used. And President, as, as late as President Kennedy, Kennedy, in my lifetime, barely, uh, he's waiting for the mail. Mm-hmm. One of his secretary, Evelyn Lincoln, used to say one of the things Professor uh, professor, President Kennedy always asked her was, anything new in the mail? 
This is the president of the United States, and he's worried about he's wondering what's coming through in the mail to tell him news. Well, that's what that's what happens. That's so you happen. couldn't make jerk dis, uh, knee jerk decisions, but you also couldn't make knee jerk mistakes. Uh, and still, yet with that, it, you know, we were at that state in the in the sixties, seventies. But we put somebody on the moon, and, and again, watching yeah. Apollo eleven, I talked yeah. about a couple months ago, just astonishing what they pulled off on our like a fraction of the technology in our pockets. Absolutely, so absolutely, absolutely, fantastic. Well, uh, this and more, professorbuzzkill dot com. Yes, going on over there. Yes, absolutely. So, it's interesting looks, and you do a lot of uh, kind of perspective history uh, as well, like uh, right uh, things that uh, like well, hey, we're talking about this today. What happened back when this similar thing happened in this historical context so right. i think those have been great so go check out professorbuzzkill.com we have to we have a rule our, our basic rule is we don't discuss anyone who's still alive partly so they can't sue us but also Nicole. it's just what, what what qualifies as history is 21st century or 21st century events history yes and no we want to wait for the dust to settle a little bit and for there be more to be more analysis of things before we uh, put our two cents in. It so. weirds me out that CNN is doing a series on the 2000s. Yes, that fits. <laughs> it's like I was watching the 80s. One of the one. reasons I went black and white. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's going back. Going back. Hey, you just you pull up one of those CBS All Access and pull up like All in the Family or something. And it's yeah. just like, just like the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friend. Hey, I got to hang out with our friend Alex Cars out on the West Coast. Alex Cars Design and Media. I uh, go check him out. Uh, he's putting together a puzzle of design and media from branding to print and digital projects. Alex can do a logos, merchandise, websites, and even photo and video projects. Uh, I got some cool stickers, some cool wrestling stickers from him. Uh, he does a lot of uh, fun Nickelodeon kind of takeoffs. Um, or like if you're here in studio, Professor, I don't know if you noticed, the Smark uh, uh, hat over there is in the style of the Friends TV uh-huh. show. Uh, so a lot of fun stuff that he does there. Uh, in uh, Photo video projects. He's worked alongside us on some psychic media services projects. You can go check him out at alexcars.media. That's K-H-R-S. AlexCars.media to get started. All right, I want to real quick take a peek through. We had uh, some submitted, uh, some submitted items here. Our friend Brian Crawford. I think I'm going to have lunch with Brian. He is excited about a standing desk. Oh, <laughs> does it go up and down? Um, it's one of these stand ones. I think I think it's similar to the one that we have uh, down in the studio. Let me pull it up. He's got it up here on Amazon. It's the uh, uh, a height adjustable mobile laptop stand rolling cart, height adjustable twenty eight to thirty three inches. So I mean, this is a new. They, they have it wheeled up to a um, to a couch. Yes, you have so a standing can, couch. And by the way, he said, "I know that it, it, this is probably a dumb, awesome thing of the week." And, and I, I say, and I believe this: it is no, no awesome thing of the week is dumb if it's awesome to you. That's true. On this show, we, uh, that is, I, I think that's an unstated rule that we've had for a while. You know, and, and like you know, I mean, that was a thing that's been around for a while, right? Yeah, but it's new yeah. to you. Some people are not time, thinking yeah. about that. You know, if we always look at the new, new, yeah. and not like what somebody has discovered, it's all about perspectives here. But have any of you out there? I mean, maybe you can email us or whatever in Texas, whatever Mike's doing. But if you've never tried a standing desk, OMG, yeah. go get one. I Wait, have a standing I desk and really a sitting desk, yeah, befitting my station in life. And the sanding desk is by far the best. I even think I think better and write better on a standing desk. And some mm. people in the in the voiceover world, podcast world, say that standing while you're speaking into the mic and standing while you're recording is better. Oh, absolutely. But my back problems, my lower, I'm sure people are dying to you know this sort of thing. <laughs> my I have a feeling lower back a little problems, older. all sorts of other stuff vanished. Vanished. Absolutely, well, it's it's true. So we have them at work, and we have them in two of our buildings. Everybody's yeah. everybody's desk is sit stand, and it's actually electric in the corner. Um, wiring becomes a fun thing, right? <laughs> because you, everybody has dual monitors too, mm-hmm. so you have to think about that. From it has to be as your desk goes up. Oh, I can imagine. But I've that. seen like his is like kind of this wheel around model. I've seen a lot of people <laughs> like the one that my uh, my doctor comes in with. What, yeah. Um, but Brian's is like a wheel around model. Mm-hmm. Um, I've cool. seen ones too that 
kind of go on an existing desk. Yes, I've and seen then, those And too. then kind of prop. Mm-hmm. It lets you lift the laptop or whatever devices. Well, I, I need to get some context for Brian here. He says uh, he's doing some work with the Pittsburgh Thunderbirds, and he needed to find a way to set up his laptop in the end zone conveniently. He was thinking this will be the perfect size and easy to transport. It's on order for him. He says he'll update us uh, later this week. What's the Thunderbirds? The Thunderbirds is the, hold on, I want to get this right, uh, A-U-D-L. It is, it is, I believe it's Extreme Frisbee. Extreme? Ultimate Frisbee, Ultimate Frisbee. I, I, oh. I knew there was a branding thing to it. Uh, yeah, the Ultimate Ultimate Disc League. American Ultimate Disc League, Thunderbirds. You can check them out at uh, uh, the, well, a, the A-U-D-L dot com. Slash Thunderbirds for where's more, like their arena? Um, I don't know what they play. I, I imagine Highmark. I think it's at Highmark. Oh, that sounds like here. fun. Yeah, he was he was talking about last time he was on the show. So B. Steven C. Film. J. I've C. never C. thought of the oh, indoors I'm sorry. ultimate, uh, but that makes perfect sense. J. C. Stonefield. I'm not sure where that's at. So giving some love to Thunderbirds here. So, anyways, uh, we have a couple more here. First, Riz, uh, Microsoft and Sony make nice and now it's partnership for gaming and cloud services. Um, what? What? Hey, um, hey, hey, tech guy that deals with the cloud. <laughs> what? What does this mean? Have you seen uh, much of these? I, I have not. I seen mean, this like, like they have not really. But kind they're of saying like a Nintendo lot. is probably using Azure behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't see Sony being some ginormous data center. But house. they've been doing streaming. They've been doing streaming. Yeah, but are they using a third well, party? Well, it's saying it's saying according to this that uh, Sony will be using Microsoft Azure for its own game and content streaming services. Although the PlayStation Now is not mentioned specifically. Uh, but they're going to be building uh, better tools there. That's so, a, so I mean, remember, Azure was supposed to be a back end to do like additional processing for like the Xbox One, and I don't know much of that has. But it, but Azure can do. I mean, it's infrastructure as a service for any company that wants to pay right. for the for the service. I, I, I look at it as there's going to be three com- So to do this is extremely expensive, right? Because when you think about it, you need to have enough equipment that. Any amount of people, any day of the week, can come and say, "Hey, I want to spin up 500 servers." Uh, so, chill. Uh, <laughs> translate this for me. Uh, there, quote from Microsoft CEO, and this was at Gamespot.com that we're reading from. Our partnership brings a power, <laughs> the power of Azure and Azure AI, to Sony to deliver new gaming and entertainment experiences. We don't know what this is going to mean for at least another year. I bet. I'm, I'm guessing it just means they're they needed to expand their data center and it was too expensive mm-hmm. to do it on their own. Sony's not three. Sony's not a giant cloud thing. And Hey, they're not great with security because remember there was that big hack with Sony breach. a couple of years ago, but you could have the same because if you're running your infrastructure inside of Microsoft, that doesn't mean you don't open yourself up to vulnerability. And, no, no, and absolutely. but don't I, I view it as, so you have Microsoft, um, Amazon, AWS, and you have Google. Those are your three heavy hitters for mm-hmm. for these types of services. And I just think in this day and age, you're you're going to be hard pressed to be able to do it cheaper in, on your own mm-hmm. in your own data center. And it's probably not even your the data center you're using for yourself is probably isn't even yours. Mm-hmm. You're probably leasing space and so some maybe they got a better deal. Maybe space. they got a better deal out of Microsoft. Right. So either way, it's interesting that they're working together, being you know kind of competitors in the in the video game space. Show games. John Carmen uh, puts in here our Patreon uh, 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 coffee club member show games is having a friends and family vr play test uh this thursday uh may 23rd uh they do uh such uh great games as uh i expect you to die uh <laughs> where it's a it's an escape room kind of game where you're oh, a, gotcha. a spy yeah. and everything like you're in a car Those genghis khan basically no 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh but uh they're they're doing a, a fun play test thing i believe that is going to be up at their offices i think they're still in the south no they're in are they in station square now show games there's i think they moved over there uh in their offices uh we will have a link in the notes for you guys to check that out that's thursday may 23rd and there's a thing to fill out with best times and they, they have everything from uh like 2 30 to 7 30 p.m if you want to check that out i'm gonna have to find a slot from that find some 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how my Thursday is. Um, also, other stories in here. Carmen, uh, Chilla, damn it. <laughs> Reading the thing in front of me instead of saying your name. Uh, anything else you want to uh, touch on here? Oh, oh, hey, yeah, I saw, I saw what Apple did. You bought a new. I, I bought a new MacBook. I've been holding out. I bought a new MacBook, <laughs> and then they released a new MacBook Pro. Will you so within thirty days, can you take it back and swap it out? Yeah, I guess so. But I bought Apple Care and everything already. So and what? I don't know. And it's Best Buy. It's not through the Apple Store. I don't know. I bet you. I bet you can well, take it Apple back Care to Best Buy. Transfer, has surely. it been thirty days? Has it been thirty days? I don't know. Has it? I I don't remember. I don't remember. No, it's been more than thirty days. It has to have been. I felt like it was like two weeks. I was in here and you. You better days. check your. You better check your receipt. I would figure oh, that out. I'm like, fine. Tomorrow morning. Cause, cause I'm it, fine. You could get a brand new, faster, more cores. <laughs> Is that more cores? Yeah, they up the core. They up the cores. It's like oh, eight geez. instead of six cores, eight cores. Oh jeez, I don't know. I had so much. And it's the I had such a bad time with Best Buy trying to get that laptop in the first place. <laughs> so we'll see i don't know new butterfly keys new butterfly keys and then the keyboard's been a problem it does feel different but i feel like i'm used to it by now so, um, but the problem is it's been like breaking for yeah. people and there's a repair program there's a repair program i'm fine they'll, they'll take care of me one, maybe one, i'll get a new one eventually when my, <laughs> my keyboard goes one quick one if you're in the pittsburgh area i highly recommend checking out liberty magic it's mm. downtown on liberty avenue it's next to the Harris Theater, where the Arcade Theater used to be. Um, That's a very Pittsburgh thing to say, by the way. <laughs> those of you who are not from Pittsburgh, we are very, we are very Pittsburgh-based. Thankfully, yeah. I think so. It's on. Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, it's at ninth, close to Ninth and Liberty. Okay, it's probably in the. I'm guessing that's the 800 block, technically. So what what are they doing down there? Liberty so they magic? have they have magic shows, and these aren't just what? like it's a dedicated space for it's magic a, it's shows. It's a dedicated space what? for magic shows, and to explain the draw they're getting, mm. they are booked for the next year with magicians. Whoa! And the shows sell out extremely Whoa. quick. Whoa! Um, really? Yes. I had no idea. Yeah, most of the shows run about a month, um, uh, three weeks to a month. Um, so we went to see Billy Kidd, who's been on Penn and Teller. Um, I don't, I can't remember what else she had been on. Um, but it's, you're pretty close. I mean, I don't know if you've yeah. ever been in the arcade theater, but there's only probably about six I have rows been. in there. I, uh, yeah, that's about right. It's probably, I mean, it's, it's a narrow little space. So it's a, you're right up front. There's yeah. no bad seat. I think we were filming the um, what was it the Swords and Sisters or something like that. Um, a, a it was it was a it was a, a play f- uh, uh, presented as if it was a TV taping, like a live studio audience TV okay. TV taping um, that, that that was in there helping out recording. And yeah, it was a very tight space. I know they have a new space now um, and everything. So, that's but, cool. but I highly highly check it out if if you like magic at all whatsoever. Mm-hmm. It's definitely worth. Cool. Worth I have to check fun. that out. Um, I had a chance. Well, I, I, I stopped. I've never been to Hollywood. And all those times I've been out to L.A. for work over the last uh, four years, right? So I said, I'm going to go to Hollywood. I drove through. I actually picked up some tickets for something else um, that uh, taping I went to um, in more towards downtown. And I saw the Hollywood sign for the first time ever <laughs> when yeah, I got into so town really last Thursday. There. And I was just like, and I kind of like, oh, my God, it's there. <laughs> Yeah. I actually didn't see it when I when I was there yesterday, um, but and I feel that we have discussed I, this has to have come up, but I found the Museum of Selfies just a block down from the Chinese <laughs> theater. Uh, oh yeah, you're gonna love this. This is this this, this picture here is a this is, this is a selfie phone. That you can stand in and take your pictures. So it's like twenty five dollars to enter this thing, uh, and it's just a bunch of scenes. Where you can take, and as Mad Mike was saying when I was showing this off on uh, on the on the on our Facebook Live last night on Mayhem Show, um, um, these are not selfies. These are just pictures of other people took of you. That's not a selfie. So uh, semantics aside, uh, this is this is a lot of fun. Um, just it's just like just again a lot of scenes for you to just like take pictures, pose pictures, and you know really kind of up the game on your. Uh, there's a ball pick, guys. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, I go, oh, here's a video of it. Uh, but it's it's um it's a lot of fun. You can you can borrow a selfie stick for five five dollars. Uh, <laughs> so 
Um, well, that's great because, you know, why do so many people take selfies of themselves in the bathroom? Those big bathroom mirrors? Mm-hmm. And you'll see, okay, this, this person is being dressed up for Listen, the... I follow so many wrestlers <laughs> that do that after their workout. Well, okay, but, sh- well, I don't want to see toilets <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> I'd rather, let's say, I don't want to. I'd rather not Not all see of toilets. us have, like, the the awesomest um, 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 uh, curtains like, like Katie has in hers for, but which I, is I, like I the think, perfect you know drop-off. that... Oh, okay. A lot of times, now I want to start taking pictures from my Ninja Turtles curtains uh, in in my in my bathroom. But but I I think what it is is unless you want just your face mm-hmm. or maybe shoulder up, mm-hmm. your arm distance is not going to. That's get. what the stick is. Oh, for. Okay, so okay, a, okay. Stick, uh, a stick a yeah. stick would get you further away. But in most, I mean, I don't own a stick, so if I wanted to show someone, I technically do. I, torso, I, need, I need I need a reflection. Yeah. And where is where are the largest mirrors? In that's right. Yeah. Well, you'd have to go to a ballroom or something. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay. You want the full. Well, you, you're you're a, you're a wrestler or somebody else. That's uh, your body is your work. You want to show you want to show your work off. Yeah, but right? I the my most recent one. And I won't say who posted it. Not only had the toilet in the background, but the seat was up. I'm sorry about that, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we tell this person? I'll tell you after the show. It obviously you know, wasn't mine because I used to get charged like. 25 cents if i if i left the seat up <laughs> what when I was a kid. yeah when i was a kid if you left if you left the oh no it was if you left the lid up yeah it was a yeah. dime you're learning so and if much you left about you the, the seat up it was a quarter so it was 35 cents in wow. my house if you left the the toilet seat up wow you're real serious <laughs> what's that, I love that well, you, <laughs> if you're going to have children make sure to set this into motion there you go there you go <laughs> Or if you have a, a bunch of boss just hey, I got this new idea. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's see what else is happening out here. Micro, micro, Minecraft AR. I've been playing a little bit, so I, I keep. Wait, you got? You have it? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It is. Uh, no, I was going to say about Angry Birds AR. I keep uh, okay. remembering to play when I'm in public, and it looks weird if I'm playing Angry Birds AR on the table in front of me and trying to go around and, and get all the pigs. So it'll put the stack of of the pigs in the blocks. On the table in front of you, Professor, and Holy and cow. you can move around it and 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 shoot it with the birds. Where's my check? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> your check, it's a free app. Go it's download it on free. your and you can turn it black and white and see you if that helps. People. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't tell people. You're like black you know, and white Angry free. Birds. They, they, they could soak people like. Me. I'm sure there's something you can pay money for on there. But <laughs> okay, if you really want to. Um, but no, but Microsoft is doing their own version for for Minecraft. Um, and I just clicked on the wrong computer for that. Uh, and, and they say that it's going, they said we'll learn more about it on May 17th. When was this? Article? That was last Friday. That yeah. Was last Friday. Um, so they, more? they did announce it. It's going to be kind of a cross between Minecraft and, um, Pokemon. Okay. So you will be able to, it, have you played mine? Are you a Minecrafter? Not you're familiar. There's I, I'm, least, I'm familiar. You're familiar. There's a creative mode and a survival yeah. mode. Yeah. So this is more in the. Survival I've watched my brother. I've watched mode. my brother just like destroy things on Minecraft mm-hmm. for a while. So so you can go around to different areas and mine brick, and then you can build in your area. The the thing that bothers me is from what the way it was explained. Mm-hmm. There's no private type mode and no save so if i go if if you and i go to the local football field and we build some crazy abstract fun type thing right you can't leave it there you could you leave it there but then oh, but anybody can, come, can come and crush it so it's like yeah. so it's like it's kind of like pokemon where there's a persistent world because you can go to the gyms and take yeah. over gyms and things um but you can't like you can't still save that, right? Well, other than take a picture, I suppose. You're right, right. So I, that's that, that still could be fun, but it's also maybe there'll be a mode eventually. That's what I'm hoping. So. Just like because I don't think in the in the original there was both creative and survival. No, I don't think so either. And there's a new mode too. I can't remember what it is, but um, so I'm hoping there is a way to save off those those buildings that you build or 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 whatnot. Mm. I think it would be fun. 
that would be a blast. I, I think it's cool that like we're getting to that point where we're getting the kind of the branded stuff, and this is where people are really going to get into that AR. I mean, I know the photos on Pokemon has been <laughs> kind of uh, uh, taking off a little bit too. So, uh, have you, uh, Professor, have you played with any AR uh, uh, apps on your phone over there? No, my life is enough is enough of AR. I was just thinking, as you said, that I, you know I have a creative mode and a survival mode in everyday existence, so that's enough for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, no, really, it is. Well, you we need, need to work life. on the... you defining life by saying the creative professor. mode. Is life. Yeah, I'm in, in, when I'm creative mode, I've been doing my professor stuff, and then when I'm in survival mode, I have to turn to Sidekick Media. <laughs> and asked him to save me from myself. Well, we need to work on the AR app where when you walk up to one of those historical signs there all over the place, yeah. uh, we, it tells you, you're, you, you'd be like the historical Snopes for those things. Oh, oh, what a good idea. There you go. Okay, all right. <laughs> that one's for so free. I didn't prep for this part of the show. <laughs> Well, you we also didn't prep for uh, taking on, like we said before, the uh, Slice on Broadway, our no, good friends supporting yeah. Pittsburgh podcasting with the pepperoni, perfect pepperoni pizza here at the Beachview Original, while also expanding the Carnegie PA East End and PNC Park. Our good friends over there, uh, please go check them out at PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and support them if you are in the area and want to get some good pizza, get your good Slice on. Uh, go check them out, and especially if you're in the Beachview area, maybe stop by. Say hi to us here at Sorgatron Media, uh, across of the uh, Las Palmas taco stand, and then head on down to uh, Slice on Broadway. A little bit of tea, taste of beach view. Uh, well, at that point, hey, we're going to be back on to, for at least a week, a uh, <laughs> regular schedule with our friends at Pittsburgh Current. I know we had just announced... Uh, literally, I was in line for the plane, and I put the announcement up for them. <laughs> their uh, podcast for this week. We're going to have Stuart Urist Ur- and Scott Fleming of Quantum Theater and Boom Creative. I've been hearing a lot about what these guys have been doing, and I can't wait to meet them and uh, hear them so much more as we produce that podcast for our friends at uh, Pittsburgh Current. Also, we have the Wrestling Mayhem show coming up here, where the professor will be joining us as well. And I, I did uh, receive a note from producer Missy, and this is why... This is why she's awesome, and I gave her, I literally gave her an award uh, earlier today. Uh, this is how we, this is how we uh, it, it encourage people here at Sorgatron Media. Um, we literally do give out trophies, and uh, actually, there, there you go, there you go. Best wife got her an Oscar from Hollywood. There you go. <laughs> uh, but anyways, she did let me know that is not our sister podcast; is our brother brother podcast over there, brother. Uh, so uh, go check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com See what the professor has in store for us Historically in mm. wrestling I believe we were talking about Gorgeous George, right? Yeah, we'll do a little Gorgeous George as Yes we have for Fantastic uh, So with that uh, Professor Buzzkill at ProfessorBuzzkill.com Yes, absolutely You can find everything you need there There you go yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great thing to just like dive through You can dive through that whole back catalog <laughs> It's true, it's true Again, it. it's because Missy it does it. That's why it's so good. <laughs> and also, Chilla on the Twitters. Josh Chilla on the Facebooks. And of course, that's Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, for me, you can see a lot of my trip to LA and the Baja and uh, a lot of things going on there. Uh, we're doing our first ever iPay-Per-View. Well, not a, okay, our first pre-planned iPay-Per-View. We'll put it that way. Uh, with our friends at Angel Gate of Women's Promotion here in Pittsburgh. That will be going live. You can go find more information at IndiaWrestling.us. And uh, look up Angel Gate Wrestling on your uh, social media as well. And uh, we'll be going to have a lot of fun with that. I'm sure I'll have a story or two on AwesomeCast next week about how that went. And uh, hopefully it'll be a re- regular occurrence here in the near future too. Um, and there's something else I wanted to throw a shout out for. And I cannot remember it right now. Producer Missy. Thank you. Thanks, Producer Missy. Thanks to our guests. Thank you to our audience joining us here on the Facebook Live this fine, fine Tuesday night here in Pittsburgh. And we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem. No, it is the wrong show. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.